happens to be one of my greatest strengths. So now, do you understand what you must give up, Miss Samuel? Or should I address you as... AR-26710, a remnant of Glamoth's Iron Cavalry. Hmm. I'm not surprised. You are much calmer than I expected. <laughs> Entropy loss syndrome. Truly an unjust misfortune, isn't it? The higher-ups in Glamoth implemented such a failsafe within the genes of their warriors. <laughs> Just to make sure the Republic's most powerful weapons wouldn't fall into the wrong hands. As for the price, those Iron Cavalries weren't exactly seen as regular, independent humans, so there wasn't really a price to be paid. However, you are different. You're now a Stellaron Hunter, a living being named Firefly. Naturally, you want to continue your existence, but with the Firmament Front gone, the people who know the secret and can cure the disease are nowhere to be found. Are you suggesting that the IPC has a remedy? Well, there might be a silver lining. That's all I can say for now. I see. It's no wonder you said I can't provide anything of equal value. Because nothing I own holds any meaning. So... You're going to ask me to personally restrain my partners to ensure my own survival? Unfortunately, that's not quite the case. Partners. A nice way to put it. Now I'm even more curious about the Stellaron Hunters. Each of you has your own identity and a special bond with each other. It's strong and intimate, and yet it allows for independence. Just as the Ten Stonehearts follow Diamond, you follow your own leader. I wonder what they are like, and if all Stellaron Hunters are like you. Traveling on the path of finality, but struggling against your destiny. Attempting to move in the opposite direction. I really hope that one day, all of you will come and visit my pawn shop. I'll be waiting patiently for that day. Can I see this as an invitation? From Diamond to the Stellaron Hunters while keeping the IPC in the dark? Consider it more of a personal offer from myself. It doesn't represent the IPC or the Strategic Investment Department. The Stellaron Hunters have interacted with the IPC, but not the Ten Stonehearts. Our paths have never crossed. As for your offer, I can pass it along to my partners. But I have a question. You know who I am. And you must know that my partner is keeping an eye on this room. If she wanted to, she could let the entirety of Pierpoint know about it within a few mere seconds. What drives you to take such a risk? And extend this invitation on behalf of Diamond? Even if it could lead to your downfall? Simply put, you and I are the same. However, unlike you Stellaron Hunters or the Astral Express, we band together merely to obtain what we want. Each of us has our own past and destined ends, and on this journey, we have been invited by Diamond to join him. This journey could be either brief or long, as each of us carries a void in our hearts that can only be filled from the outside. So, Diamond made us a promise. To divide the power of the Emanator of Preservation into ten pieces and give each of us a cornerstone to fill that void. Mortal flesh is fragile, yet my heart is unyielding like the monolith. For without this resolve, the way of preservation would fade into oblivion. So... 
You understand? This pledge goes beyond a mere oath. It's our collateral in exchange for opportunities, wealth, survival, and a future. And whatever we gain from it will fortify the Stonehearts in return, allowing us to achieve the great cause of the preservation when the war among the Eons eventually comes. <laughs> I understand. Take your time, child. You don't need to give me an immediate answer. Like I said, patience is one of my greatest strengths. If fate turns that page, our paths will cross again. It's a shame, though, that this pawn shop can't give me what I desire. My last attempt in Penacony. <laughs> well, it ends with hope. Lady Bonajade? I've come to deliver the collaterals promised. <laughs> 